Hey guys, welcome to Redneck Off The Range, and I really hate making videos like this, but I do feel kind of obligated to because I want people who are watching this video to avoid the mistakes that we made. So right now I'm out at the farm and behind me you'll see our three acre lake. And my grandparents bought this property back in the mid 70s, so about 50 years ago, and the lake predated them buying this property. So I mean that lake is probably, you know, it's well over 50 years old, probably over 60 years old, but there's really no telling. And there really in all that time there really was no sort of lake maintenance that was done. I mean, you know, the lake went through several periods of just different things like at one point it was covered in moss and cattails and they put in some grass seeding carp and that uh, took care of that problem over time. Uh, but you, there's really nothing done in terms of like um, keeping the muck down because I mean there's a lot of muck in this lake. and so. Um, last year, a whole bunch of fish actually died in this lake. Um, and I say a whole bunch, I mean, I, I don't really know how many, maybe a, a dozen or two, but uh, it caused concern for my parents who are now the new owners of this property since my grandparents are gone. And they did some research and they came to the conclusion that it was a good idea to get a, uh, an aeration system for the, the lake. So that's what is right behind me here. This is the aeration system. Uh, you can probably hear it humming. You can probably see some of the bubbles out. There are four aerators out in this lake. <clears throat> and the idea is that it pumps oxygen into the water and gives the fish plenty of oxygen to breathe. And that prevents them from dying. Um, and it also helps with the muck in the bottom. Um, it, uh, from what I understand, it uh, promotes good bacteria and that helps uh, eat away at the muck at the bottom. Of course, you have to put muck or um, muck biotics or whatever else in the lake to help with that because I mean, there's you know 60 years of, of muck buildup in here. And so, you know, we had this installed, we ran all the electric ourselves. You know, we spent probably 10 grand putting this system in thinking that what we were doing was a good thing for the lake. And theoretically, it is a good thing for the lake. Um, everywhere you look, when you're researching this stuff, all it tells you about is all the good things that happen uh, when you put an aeration system in. What they don't tell you is that you have to use it a specific way or introduce it to your lake a specific way so as to not cause havoc on your lake. And that's unfortunately what happens. So uh, what happened was we had this thing installed. We got the electric hooked up after I don't know how many months trying to get the electric run down here. And, um, you know, we hooked it up and we couldn't get it running. And so uh, this was over uh, 4th of July weekend. And, you know, we hooked it up and we couldn't get it running. And so we had the company come out the next weekend and uh, get it started and they did get it started and they you know they were out here before we came out here and we they left it running and they never said anything else I mean they kind of gave us the impression that people let these things run 24 7 and and people do and that's how it's running right now so you know we came out here and it, it had already been running a couple hours and then you know we it was late Friday night and so we went to bed and you know it ran throughout the night and I got up in the morning and I was walking the dog and we, I, me and the dog came down to the lake here and I noticed some grass eating carp up at the, up at the bank, you know, and then, you know, I was like, oh, that's cool. So I walked down and I looked at the grass eating carp and then, you know, I kind of noticed a few dead fish like bluegill in the water all along the bank and then I looked to the right and I saw a whole bunch of dead and live fish um, at the bank trying basically trying to swim out and then I looked to the left and I saw all these these grass eating carp these catfish bass everything was just at the shoreline trying to get out and I, I just knew 
there was something wrong. And so I ran up to the house, I got my dad, he came down, looked, and um, we ended up unplugging it. But I mean, by that time the damage was done, I mean, all those fish that were still alive were going to die and they did die throughout the course of the weekend. And so we spent that whole weekend going around in a boat with a net, fishing out hundreds and hundreds of dead fish. I mean, everything in this lake was dead. All the, the bluegill, the, the bass, the crappie, the catfish. We counted 23 grass-eating carp. Um, I don't know if there were more than that or not, but I mean, virtually everything in this lake is dead. The only thing that is still living is if you go along the bank, you can see some little fathead minnows still alive in there. And so what happened was um, introducing an aeration system like this in a lake this old um, causes the water to basically turn into ammonia and that's toxic to fish. At least that's what we've read. Um, <clears throat> and so what we should have done and what the company should have told us was that it should be introduced slowly. So you, the first day you, you run it for 15 minutes and the next day 30 minutes and then you just keep doubling it until, until you're up to 24 seven. Well, they never told us that. And, um, and I, even after talking to them and showing them the pictures and everything, they still acted like we didn't do anything wrong. So I don't really understand that, but uh, they said that they've never seen this problem before and that just leads me to believe that the majority of the lakes that they that they deal with are brand new lakes and ponds and so they don't deal with lakes that are this old and don't have this kind of problem and so anyway their solution to the problem is you know they sold us all these muck biotics at cost and so they're not making any money off of it and then uh, in the fall they say they're going to give us um, 2,100 uh, bluegill, uh, red ear sunfish, and um, hybrid bluegill, and then 30 pounds of minnows. And that's supposed to be a good feeder fish for this size of a lake. And then the following fall, we're going to get uh, the bass, the crappie, and the catfish. And uh, somewhere in there, I would like to get some grass-eating carp. I don't think we need 23. Um, in fact, I don't even think 23 is what my grandparents put in. I thought they only put in like 15, so I don't really know how we get 23. But uh, there is some moss and stuff growing in the lake now, and it's starting to take over already. And so I think, you know, putting a few grass-eating carp in there will help keep that at bay. But I just wanted to make this video so that if you have a lake that's old like this and you're considering a, an aeration system, uh, consider the fact that if you put it in, you need to uh, slowly introduce it to your lake so that you don't have the problem that we did and you kill all of your fish. Because, I mean, we pulled out at least 1,500 fish uh, throughout the whole weekend and there were still hundreds more floating. I mean, we just ran out of time. We couldn't, we couldn't just keep doing it. We, I mean, we don't live out here, so we had to go home. Um, but yeah, I mean, virtually everything in this lake is dead except for some minnows. Um, but uh, the company is going to help us fix the problem, uh, which is good because I mean, I, I assume they just don't want to get sued. But uh, yeah, it, it's going to be a while before I can really fish out here and you know, before anybody can really fish out here. So um, that just was a very devastating weekend for us. And I really don't want that same thing to happen to anybody. Uh, else. So if you're watching this video, you're considering an aeration system for your lake, just keep that in mind. So anyway, that was Redneck Off the Range, and until next time, be safe.